Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode, sort of, of, uh, <laughs> of um, Vandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk. If you can't tell from that intro, I'm sick right now. Um, and, uh, Christine, I have your green screen on, so now the your, your, your shelf is hovering in the spooky forest, which I really like. And Charlie. So, Charlie's ho hovering in the spooky forest. I just want you to know that this was an intentional choice. Also, uh -huh. Caitlin, I'm going to put I you at really normal person that. size instead of halfling size for a change. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so welcome. You've grown. We, we've all Whoa. grown here. Uh, so hey, everybody, uh, this is a special intermission episode of, um, I keep wanting to say Call of the Netherdeep, but it's not. It's, um, I, I'll tell you more about that in a bit. Uh, Fandelver and Below the Shattered Obelisk. Um, I am ill. Uh, I brought a fun cold back from visiting my mom in Kansas. And now Robin has it. And now Amy has it. And I'm just, I'm handing this thing out. So uh, that's why, Caitlin, when I dropped off your Christmas presents from our, our good patron and friend Raven, I did not give you more than a very, very brief hug and stayed at the other end of the room. Oh, I was wondering why you were like, <gasps> the whole time. Now I see. No, now it's I because see. I was sick and I'm like, you don't need to be <laughs> sick and baby doesn't need to be sick because baby <laughs> is already like six feet tall and like, oh, yeah, he's very he tall. He's like half the size of you. Um, so anyway, welcome what? to Fandelver and Below. No, he's he big. He's a big, he, he's a big bubba. He, he's he almost honestly, one too. He is half of Caitlin's today. height. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's folks, funny when I, I hold him and he's like, meep, meep. he's like, who's holding who, mother? <laughs> soon, um, soon, soon. Um, so folks, we're gonna do this as long as my voice gives out. We're gonna chat with you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hold on. Let me put a little more emphasis into this so that it sounds like I'm here. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fandalver and Below. There, that's uh, I'm done. Um, <laughs> uh, let's go through and introduce ourselves, and then let's chat and talk about this module and how we're doing and all the cool stuff that's coming to Dork Tales this year. Um, which you will be receiving as well in that end of the year, beginning of the year video that was supposed to be out on the first. And then I've been sick for a week. So this is the most I've been sitting up for a while. Uh, it's not COVID though, which is nice. Uh, so in a, uh, in a surprise twist, let's go in reverse order today and say hello to Chris. Hey, I'm all ready for it. I thought that might be happening. I'm Shit. on the ball. Uh, I was rewatching several older videos and I was like, Oh, what, what order do we usually go in? Uh, Hi, I'm Chris. I go by here they pronouns. I play generally play Sindri, the half elven monk. Uh, he is a friend to you and me, and not so much the skeletons. Uh, uh, Happy New Year's, everyone! It's great to be back. Uh, I am excited to see see y'all again this year and play lots of games together. So nice and passing it on. Pass it on to Krista. I was slightly less prepared. Uh, hello. Hi, I'm Krista. I use she, they, or her, them pronouns. Uh, and I usually play Carmilla Alazarin, our uh, Dampier fighter. Uh, and I am super duper stoked and excited to get back into this nonsense next week. But for now, I'm excited to chat with all you guys because I, I this is the only way I get to see you guys nowadays. So it makes, makes me happy. I know, I get it's sad. I have a present for you in a box. <gasps> exciting yeah. we can also see each other like because like, we, we actually... can see yes we yeah. can actually see each other but we both have very busy lives and so mm -hmm. seldom do <laughs> that is truly the issue we should we, well we do have to play magic now <laughs> this is true uh someone that i saw very recently and gave a christmas present to that was a plague amy thanks it's cold <laughs> it was a cold it was a cold Merry surprise christmas. it's a disease <laughs> <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> if only you had given her one of those little plushy, like cold I know, right? bacterium. Oh, that would have been perfect. Yeah. No, I, uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Amy. I don't remember what everyone else just said because I was too distracted doing terrible, terrible alternate versions of Fendelver and below the Shattered Obelisk, such as, uh, what did I say? I don't Fa know. Phantom Limbs and Below the Shattered Patel. <laughs> Is this about me missing my clown pelvis? No! Van Delver and Below, the missing clown pelvis. <laughs> In Baldur's Gate 3, you have to collect clown parts, and I lost my pelvis somewhere along the way. I think I might have accidentally sold it when I was playing at 2 in the morning over the holidays. No, I hate it when I accidentally sell my clown pelvis. I hate it. You know, it's the worst. If you're looking for more clown pelvises, you can see lots of them on Twitter.com. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say it feels like a well beyond the witchlight crossover. 
episode. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair all right so that's amy so speaking of a um of a wild beyond the witch like crossover it's caitlin hello i'm anthea briarfoot today playing caitlin <laughs> um hi i'm caitlin i 100 percent forget what everybody else said but i use she her pronouns and i 100 percent was already past the point in overturn of my makeup when I got the notice, we were not doing it. I noticed that so you hadn't totally seen fine. the group chat. So I texted no. you. I'm like, I'm like half dead on the couch. Like, oh no, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I had already done my eyebrows, which is my point of no return. So there we are. But that's all good. That's all good. I'm going to be filming some stuff. And I just figured I'd get into the mood, mood groove, the move. The move. Anyway, I am also very tired, um, but I have energy drink and calming. I tea, love your so cup. No. Thank you. Thank you. In the Mauve. Absolutely. In the mauve. In the, I'm actually not in Mauve at all right now, which Mauve is kind of my, one of my colors. I like yeah, pink but you're and blue. purple. But you're not feeling yes. blue. You're feeling you're mauve. In the mauve. No. Um, all right. Feeling blue like her hair. And that's kind of a grayish blue um, in places is Christine. Christine, I, I oh. love the vibe of your floating office. It just nice. looks like you. You just work in the wilderness. I wasn't going to bend over to put my green she screen back up. That's because... fair. No, thank you. Um, hello, I am Christine. I use she, her pronouns. I am not sick. However, I am severely broken. Um, my back is one big ball of pain and discomfort. Um, so yeah, that's fun. It's been like five days and today got worse, even though I was going to physio, which got better. But the other part didn't get better. It got worse, which is like... Mm. Dudes. I generally play Lady <laughs> Alessandra, um, our Ismar Paladin. All right. So, yeah. Not doing and that we, right we, we love her. She is the moral core of this nougaty, nougaty chocolate of a party. We you need a party name, damn it. Is, is party name just conscience? Or I, We, we I, had something. I, what was I it? I seen it posited as uh, guidance uh, counselors. Yeah, uh, something to do with that. I'm pretty sure we we had thought of something that was kind of joking, guidance. and I was like, "That would be so funny." Uh, so guiding funny. lights would be fine. We guiding. could do. Oh. I just like guidance. Guidance is a good name. <laughs> guidance. Cantrips. Uh, Yay. The I guiding mean, lights. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. You just said that, oh, and I'm yeah, I'm doing the thing where I say it louder and take credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I don't think our like characters would necessarily go for that as like. Mm. Uh, like as like a party like that could be applied to them but i'd have a hard time seeing like sindri by being like i don't give good advice mm. oh, what about over at lady alessandra <laughs> i don't think i really do either arguing against it for marketing purposes i like that everybody's oh. all like oh it's well, such moral advice and not just getting free labor <laughs> yeah, exactly. um you could call yourself um Morally upstanding? No, immorally upstanding. Everybody, look up, look up idioms for the word oral, and then change them to moral. Morally gray. No, that's just me. Oral idiom. No, orally gray is awful. <laughs> orally <laughs> gray. I said morally gray. Nobody said say oral. Oh, they no. turned to moral. So if you said moral, <laughs> oh no. Phrases with oral. <laughs> um, <laughs> This is if we all become a band, we should be the performing moral. Moral restraint. Oh. Moral health. Moral health. Um oh, moral hygiene. <laughs> moral hygiene. Moral hijinks. Moral hijinks. Moral, moral hijinks. hijinks. Man, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um Does anyone else have like a mus uh, musical IR instrument proficiencies? I know Sindri does. No, yes, you're just the you're just mystery me. incorporated. <laughs> no, mystery. but she can play the triangle. I'm sure she can play the beakers. Yeah. They're like <laughs> like a xylophone. Like they're like or like a like the singing. I don't know. You know, she, yeah. you know what I mean. Literally Glasses. a bottle and just like blow through the bottle. <laughs> that too. <laughs> but you gotta have a few of them so you can make different notes, right? <laughs> Cool. so anyway um how have you guys been enjoying <clears throat> i know we were we were off for a little while over the holidays oh god this takes a lot of work um so uh, i'm just gonna speak in my normal voice right now hey guys um 
How how have you been enjoying the the campaign over the holidays? It's been oh wait, great. no, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> over the we haven't had game over the holidays. This is why I'm not running game. Um, how did you? How have you been enjoying it so far? How have been the first nine episodes? I've enjoyed them immensely. I like your party. I, I I've been enjoying oh, the people. I'm so lost. <laughs> I thought you were talking about. How did the stream people watching enjoy all the stuff you played over the holidays reruns? Wow, this is that we're, does we're make very... sense. That's <laughs> what I thought you were okay. talking you about. Like, hold, hold on, hold on. Shit. Wait, that's what for us. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> hold on. So everybody who's watching at home right now, how did you enjoy these special episodes over the holidays? Uh, players, how have you enjoyed the campaign so far? Also, how did you do over the holidays? What'd you get up to? Any fun things? I bought, I bought uh, kinetic sand what? that smells like cupcakes. Oh. <laughs> See, it's it's smells like <laughs> it smells like cupcakes. Sand, sense. I love oh, that. and Jen gave me a Christmas present um, that she made herself these are d10s Ooh, and, oh nice did you know that sandwiches can be put into weed bags no sorry um <laughs> only if you cut them really really tiny <laughs> sorry i saw that meme and it just stuck with me uh um, my favorite goodness. thing that i got oh my shit I da, 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 da. that's really cool that is really cool it's oh, cute. i got um i also got a new keyboard my mom bought me a new a new keyboard and it's got all of these extra keys including ones on the side so whenever i move my keyboard it i do something i don't mean to like in saying that i've done Perfect. four screen captures <laughs> since since i started saying that sentence <laughs> um because there's a screen capture oh, button so if i ever it's gone forever it's gone oh, forever i i'll find it in the i break. got a new uh my my sister got me a a keyboard tray uh, so now I don't have to juggle my dice and my keyboard because that's how small my desk is. That's really cool. I got, I got a subscription to a yarn thing. Nice to make a blanket. Oh, booyah! I have done all three of the squares for it already. I have to now have to wait a month. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's true. You did get dice, Robin. Oh, 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 oh! I thought it's something that people here might be interested in. That I got. A D and D cookbook. Ooh! What? <gasps> yeah! Oh, I got Heroes Feast. Is That's it good? Exciting. Have you made anything from it? We haven't made anything from it yet. We were planning on it, and then I keep forgetting. But yes, it looks really, really good. We <laughs> nice. want to make the bacon. I don't remember what, what it was called. You it know was like what else? Bacon. Hey, can I tell you guys about an awesome present? Bacon Fort Orcs. Yeah. Um, you can get awesome presents from our sponsor, Bookworm Games. Ha -ha, you thought I wasn't going to do it, but I was. Um, and the biggest present what I can give you. Segue. What an incredible segue. Uh, Bookworm Games is our sponsor for this episode and for every episode here on Dork Tales. They are a Vancouver area proprietor of dice and dice things. It's invisible now, Amy. Uh, but I got a bunch <laughs> of dice from uh, one of our patrons over the holidays, uh, our good friend Raven. I got tea. And tea. They've got tea. I'm They've got it. dice. Uh, I'm going to use these dice to punish players later. I got some really, really pretty ones, but they're in my closet, so I'm not going to have them on camera right now. Uh, but they are fantastic. And as a special present to you, um, I want you to know that whenever you make a purchase from Bookworm Games, uh, let me know, and I will double your next channel point purchase. So, uh, and that includes like if you make a bunch of purchases like right in a row, I'll just double them all. So. Uh, basically, like, the next game that you buy stuff in, I'll double all your channel point purchases. But on top of that, uh, Bookworm Games has given us a present, and that is, it used to be a 10% discount for everybody, but because of all of your amazing purchasing power, all of your amazing support, uh, Bookworm Games has permanently raised our discount to 15%. So Ooh. when you go to their website, that means you're, you're, like, getting, like, tax and then, like, a half off everything you buy if you're in Canada. And if you're in America, you're just cleaning up because my God, our dollar is is iffy right now. Uh, we were just in the states, and it was really expensive. Um, so uh, thank you so much to Bookworm Games for being our sponsor. You guys are amazing, and uh, I hope to see you very soon um, in person, maybe because a bunch of us are going to cons this year. Um, they're they're just, they're a great sponsor, guys. Go get some dice. They're, it, shipping is free at a hundred dollars Canadian, which is like seventy US. It's like super worth it. Um, so yeah, uh, does anybody have any fun announcements for this year? I have a couple that I can drop, but I've been talking a lot. So if anybody else wants to talk about something cool. 
I have found Can... a new addiction to Lego. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can I show my my one Christmas present that I think everyone will appreciate, which is a D20, oh, but it's good. actually a <gasps> beholder. Oh my goodness. Incredible. That's amazing. It is, it is it's got little, little back beautiful. eyeballs. Oh, that's really cute. It's and like it a beholder out. Bakugan. It, yes. He's very good. <laughs> and then I have him. I'm not going to fold him up, but I also have, uh, oh, I forgot his name, Thong. Thome Torg, the the fat dragon from the D and D movie. Ember showed. Yeah, um, yeah Thumber showed. The, there he is. Yeah, Thumber he, he also yeah. he also Thund Thunder showed. He's got little dice. He's, little guys there. He's my favorite fatty dragon. He is just yeah, the best. Redonk. Redonk with the chonk. Yeah. yeah. But yes, these are uh, the dicelings, which are unfortunately made by Hasbro, but they're very cool and oh my they were God. just for me as Christmas guests. So Okay. Is it time for politics? It's time for politics. <laughs> Guys, I'm real sorry, but we have to run stuff by Wizards of the Coast because you guys like us playing those. I'm real sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to do it all the time either because every time I'm like, Hasbro can't do anything worse. They're like, Hasbro sacrifices 500 babies to the Golden Throne. And I'm like, God damn it, Hasbro. You're, it's not you're even the Golden Throne. It's just... You're doing a very good job of like luring people onto like World of Darkness and oh, other God. games. So I, they come one here day, for the D &D one day, and then they exactly. get converted to the mage streams. Yeah, yeah, we trick them into enjoying World of Darkness. So um, I really want to run like third party stuff. Um, and as you saw in the opening, we have two new games that are going to be starting this year um, because once again, Wizards of the Coast decided just to to just shove a book right up there at the worst possible time of the year. Um, so in May, we have um, Vecna Eve of Ruin. We're just finishing finalizing the cast and the dates for that. Unfortunately, Maybe. it's in the middle. Because they've they've still not released a date again. That's true. They, they deleted, they said back. May they and then they deleted it. So with the one hand, with the one <laughs> hand, they clawed it back. And there's been like nothing else said. Michael's Since done all the December. art for it and like all the overlays are in process and um, we just need to like assemble the team, which the team is like four out of five people assembled. I just, I, I can't pull the trigger on person five until I know what day we're going to run it on. But then I need to know when the game is coming. And it's a great cast. Fantastic cast. Top cast. Best cast. Um, we also have an amazing <laughs> cast that we Wait, are. Wait, what? <laughs> what? We're the best cast, obviously. They can be second best cast. Yeah. That's true. The players That's are true. revolting, generally. Players are revolting. <laughs> but also... Not my players. Wow, I mean, I know we're players, but we're not that disgusting. I specific... People are like, wow, you guys have really good chemistry. And it's because I pick... I only pick, like, the people in my life that shower. <laughs> What was that oh, about the, that? God, what am I here for? <laughs> <laughs> you know why you're here. Dry shampoo counts. <laughs> Dry shampoo counts. Wet shampoo counts Beautiful. too. But like, I would love to run some things. Like, I've got, I've got these boys. I've got Odyssey of the Dragon Lords, and I've got Sunken Isles, which I really would love to run. Uh, I also have, uh, I've backed the book by uh, the Legends of Avantress. So I'd love to see if that has any module stuff in it. I like running modules because I can run more of those a week because homebrew takes a lot of time. Uh, but um, we also uh, I have a very exciting thing that you might have seen in the pre-roll if you were watching on, on Twitch Live. Uh, and that is that we are going to be doing after a, after like four, what four, three four years of it being out, uh, we're finally doing Descent into Avernus, or Avernus, depending on you know what your regional pronunciation because it's a made up word, guys. Who cares? Um, people keep like be like trying to call me on words, and I'm like they don't exist. All words are made up. Tired um, Kelly gets spicy. Shocking everybody. <laughs> words are all made up. Every word is made up. You we can in. make up anything. My favorite dragon is I make up thing. names for things all the freaking time. It's what I do. It's professionally. YOLO was not a word when I was a kid. It's, I mean, it's fair. What about YOLO swag? Was YOLO yeah, swag. It was not a word when I was a kid. No. <laughs> now it's the only word. Was, but it wasn't what it meant now. I, will uh, I just love that. that we now have the term, the, the Lord 
like yeeteth in the Lord Yoinketh. I'm just like, yeah. I yoinketh a lot of things. Um, <laughs> oh, no, okay. it's not that type of stream. I have a, I have a 10 foot reach. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that every gay guy wow. has a 10 foot reach? I just don't <laughs> get it. Kelly, skill issue. Oh, no. is, it, is it a skill issue? I thought it was just a natural endowment. Not a skill issue. Okay, damn. You teach me your ways. Can this power be learned? <laughs> Yeah, well, mm. not from the Jedi. <laughs> I'm like, mm. not from the head row. <laughs> what, what time is it? It's like 7 30. Okay, yeah, I can be like, it's 7 30. Do you know where your reach is? <laughs> it's Fen Fen Delver after dark. There's no owl bears oh, today, there's just bears. We're, no, we just made it yeah, below the, the shadow. Wait, dark. so in this the this is what happens when half mm. the cast is hopped up on cold meds yeah. in the fantasy world. <laughs> so, if you're a bear, if you're like a big hairy dude, what would an owl bear be? Me when I haven't eaten lunch. How oh, fair. <laughs> would it, but like seriously, would, would an owl bear be just like a very studious bookworm who's also a big hairy gay dude? That would yeah. that would track. And who's very fond of Tootsie Pops? I I haven't had a Tootsie Pop. A one. A two. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, just like, well, that's because you're a bear, not an owl bear. Yeah. But what, what if I could be? I, I am coming. Well, see, I'm seeing focus enough. An owlin who is a bear. That would be an owlbear, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, Krista, the next time you play a character, um, you have to do a full <laughs> owl costume and be an owlbear and just walk around. No, I, <laughs> I will do my Midwestern dad tortle before I do an owlbear. Oh, yeah. All right. Amazing. I'm All right, that it. sounds it's good. Incredible. Every so in so Avernus is going to be great. Um, so Krista, this is year four of Strixhaven we're going into. Um, but uh, hey, if y'all were going to join the Patreon, uh, now is the time, uh, because in one week and one day, we are doing the the Strixhaven special episode, um, the Wild Rock Supremacy, which yes. is the Call of the Netherdeep crossover episode. Um, so if you were gonna, if you wanted to join and watch more Call of the Netherdeep, you should you should head over there right now. Uh, and the join public the five crawls was super fun. The public crawls was so good. It was you guys were ridiculous. I can't believe Christine did that to me. No spoilers, but like, there's a moment in there where there's just silence and then cackling. It's just I'm like, wait a minute. Um, I didn't call up Robin afterwards to be like, hey, 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 guess what I did. <laughs> Um, so that's great. Uh, but then we're going into season four of uh, Strixhaven and Strixhaven is a college game. So it's four years and and then it's done. So when it is done, um, another person is going to be running Descent into Avernus in that slot. Um, so you're going to still get your biweekly chaos content and uh, we're putting together that game. It's going to be great. I'll tell you more spoilies when when we get a little closer to it. Uh, but I get to play in it and everybody's telling me I need to play Doom Guy. Yeah, someone needs to play Isabel. <laughs> I was gonna, be, I was gonna play a tiefling, but now I'm kind of like, oh what God. if you were just a little I dog a in the Doom Guy armor, and oh then you're secretly God. all spelt and sexy when you come out. Just take it off, and it's like just horns go brrring, sproing. Exactly. <laughs> Where did he hide those? Mm. Mm, Horn bendy. space. They're bendy. <laughs> um, so that's what we have. We also have um, at the end of the year, um, which was meant to start in November of this year, uh, but we'll be starting in November of 2024. Most likely we have another homebrew game coming and uh, shards is coming back and it's going to be great. I had, a, I had a really beautiful revelation uh, because on new year's Jen came over and when I say forced us to watch a bunch of like Exandria unlimited, I don't mean forced like a gunpoint, but basically she's just like, Hey, I want to show you Brendan Lee Mulligan. And I'm like, all right. So that's, but she forced us. She forced us at gunpoint. Um, and I noticed Which that. Which did you watch? Uh, just the beginning. And I realized that A, our styles are pretty similar on a lot of things. Every time you say, like, you do your Matt Mercer impression or like you're trying to be Matt Mercer, I'm like, no, you're not fucking Matt Mercer. You're Brendan Lee Mulligan because you're oh. better. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I, I like some of the things that Matt Mercer does a lot. I think that he's a very good DM and I would love to play at that table. Uh, but Brent, Brendan Lee Mulligan thinks like I do. 
and the opening bit with the whole like i need you to describe yourself with the proviso that your mouth is full of blood and i'm like oh, that's a me line <laughs> that's a me line and then just the way that he keeps like adding the psychological torment on i'm like oh that's me in in mage um and in any game where i'm not beholden to the book that's great but i also notice he doesn't use maps as much and i'm gonna be honest when i'm running hum homebrew battle maps stress me out a lot because i spend a lot more time focusing on the map than i do focusing on the role play when when he he is a big map guy on dimension 20 because he has an entire crew that does like crazy ass maps for him I, which i know I, they I, have in critical role too but his his go pretty hard i saw the bear Jen showed me the bear oh, corpse. I was going to ask if anyone had seen that, because that shit was fucking wild. Like, uh, I... Giant slime fit Santa, also very good. Oh my god, it... I would love that. I wish we had a production budget. I, I wish we had someone dedicated to making our battle maps. Like, like full scale. If you haven't had a chance to watch Burrow's End on Dimension 20, like you can just search for Burrow's End bear. Yeah. It's from episode 2, uh, and it's like not super spoilery uh but it is like my one of, one of my big hobby backgrounds is games workshop games so like warhammer age of sigmar stuff painting yeah. miniatures building terrain and this was one of the coolest things i've ever seen out like outside of like a games workshop full-scale production like diorama thing because this is like it's incredible and, and it's just 3d printed that, right it didn't like parts of it move out and like <clears throat> yes some things are oh. soft things light up they things have... open up Oh it's like God. in the first season of crown of candy they have a sinking ship that has sections that gets taken out as he jen was talking it. about that it's in insane and then they auction it all off too which is crazy oh my so God. you can own these things oh we'll just buy their the things and got, just spin it i wonder if the bear there got auctioned go. off somewhere i don't know it, there were a lot of people who just, got upset and, about it, that bear frozen just i didn't end up watching it it just ended right yeah so it it, they, it usually takes until like the next round of things because they need to finish up photos and things, I suppose. But that's really yeah. cool. That's really cool. I would love that. So, hey, Dimension 20, call us. We'll we'll join forces. We'll be we'll be a satellite channel. That's we just fine. have to be real obnoxious at as many cons as we can to just like get our nose in places and talk to people. Well, speaking of which, if you are going to cons this year, um, we are a bunch of us are going to go. I'm going to see as many Dork Tales people as can can afford to go. Um, we're definitely going to be going to Gen Con this year. So uh, as many of us as can are going to be at Indianapolis there. Uh, there are a couple of other cons we're looking at uh, budget wise. Um, unfortunately, we won't make it to ECCCCCCCC uh, Emerald City Comic Con this year again, because it is a week after a very expensive trip for a bunch of us. And then like a week after I'm already like emceeing at a con, although I get it. So I'm emceeing at Sukino Con this year in Victoria, BC, as I tend to do. And um I get to interview uh, one of the guests is the guy who voices one of the uh, young Joseph Joestar. But he is also the kid in term or not Terminator in kindergarten cop that says boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. He is the same person. He grew up and became a voice actor and looks nothing like that kid anymore. Well, I hope uh, so. That'd be really weird if he looked like he was still like, right, hey, right. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I still look exactly like I looked in kindergarten from about here up. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Um, but he did a bunch of. Other, he's also the voice of Stitch in the uh, uh... not not the official like not Disney but like the anime dub of Stitch. That's right. There was a Lilo and Stitch anime, and he was the voice what? of Stitch. Yeah, there was. <laughs> Which I could do a Stitch voice, but I'm sick, so I'm not going to. <laughs> um, this is the best. I'm curious voice, who has the best Stitch impression out of this oh, group, or between me and this guy. Oh well, <laughs> I... <laughs> gonna take on. <laughs> yeah, take on like on. one of the. I'll I don't know what's what's, what's yours, Chris. I, Chris, not, not on top of my head. Not on top of my head. Throwing it I'm, down. I'm not throwing it down. Not throwing it down. Not throwing it down. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't heard. I haven't watched Leo and Stitch in years, and. <clears throat> Oh, hey. Hannah means family. Oh, there you it's go. No one is left behind. There, oh, that's my sick version. She's touching me. She's touching me. She's touching me. 
Possession <laughs> roll! There you go. I, I ended up on a uh, minion, unfortunately. Oh, -na -na. oh God. <laughs> Papaya. <laughs> Papaya. Yeah, there we Papaya. go. Papaya. If you're joining us, if you're joining us for the first time today, I <laughs> we have officially so lost it. We lost it. We're all sick. I'm not. Um, I'm, I'm sorry oh, for shit, nothing. Shit, I lost the plot. You lost it a long time ago. When is Pax East? When is Pax East, Blackwater? Let me know. Um, is that's not Pax Unplugged, right? Like that's Pax East. No, it's another one. Okay, it's pretty soon, I think, isn't it? I'm very broke. You will tell us. March 21st <laughs> to 24th? Oh, yeah, I'm probably broke. Uh, I, we're going to, Amy, we're going to Odafest, right? In Calgary? Well, probably. I have to figure out when that exactly that is and get my and it's the book time off. Or well, we also got to we also gotta put our guest stuff in. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's going to be fun. Uh, March 21st to 24th, where is it? Matt, Pat, probably New York? I said Boston. <laughs> PAX East? Is it, a, is it in Boston? PAX East, Boston. Unless I'm looking at the wrong thing Don't here. There are, there are a lot of PAXs Boston. these days. Boston is East. Yep. The Unplugged was in Philadelphia. That's where I was. Hey! Oh, man. Uh, anybody else have anything cool to talk about? Uh, I'm unlikely to be going to many gaming conventions. I'm going to be going to Italy for a rugby tournament in May. So that's Ooh. my... My Were you playing career. the Pope? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm always trying to play the Pope. Any way I can get away <laughs> with. Um, but uh, wait, the no, real Pope uh, or like the Jude Law young sexy Pope? Either or. Okay. <laughs> Listen, <clears throat> I'm I'm gonna go with my tagline is general internet miscreant. But there's a international gay rugby tournament, so teams from around the world are coming for the Bingham Rugby Cup. So I'm gonna be playing there. So if you're in Rome, say hi, because uh, it's just gonna be fun. Nice. So yeah, come, 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 hang out with the crease. Come, <laughs> you know what you want. Are you, are you, are you like doing stretches and exercises for your, for your Italian? Well, no, what I am doing is cutting my past with scissors and putting ice in my wine. Uh, I, I don't know if you saw. Oh this, but, um, my it's been, god! <laughs> it's been nice <laughs> knowing you, but someone's gonna stab you with, <laughs> with like. So with what the, I have the broken wine glass from me putting ice into it. Like, <laughs> the line gosh. between Smash. bravery and stupidity is uh, okay. Speaking, speaking of cutting pasta, I I'm a big foodie and I really like to cook, right? So I've been trying to slowly upgrade my my knives at home from something that will like cut off my finger to something that could easily cut off my finger but won't because it's sharp. You know, that's the if you don't cook, um, the sharper your knife is, the safer it is usually because it won't jump. Um, which is counterintuitive to the way that you would think if you didn't use it. So there you go. Uh, sharpen your knives. Um, so I've been looking at like all sorts of like mid range knives. Cause I can only afford so much. You can only afford like a Henkel every couple of years, you know? So I've got a bunch of knives from Mercer, haha, um, which is like a good, like mid range company. Uh, but there's all in the same range. There's also like this company from Germany called Dalstrong. You guys know Dalstrong. They're fine. They're good knives. Um, I've been playing a lot of Spider-Man 2 because I've been like on the couch for a week. The Kravenoff family crest is literally just the Dalstrong logo. And it's hilarious because you get stabbed at one point and like you have to use, you have to go take the knife to an antiques dealer to have the crest analyzed. And it looks like it's just a Dalstrong knife. Like, and I'm just like, did nobody research knives? Isn't they made Sir, this I don't know what to tell you, but this is not an antique. Uh, we can't. Uh, where where did you find this? What's the providence of this knife? How long has it, was, it been in your family? It was in my ribs. Well, it can't have been there for very long. So it cut really do cleanly. Do you have a certificate of authenticity to maybe help us get this thing started here? The best I can do is probably a hundred dollars because it's used. Ah, I would love, <laughs> I would love that. I would love that. It's probably, they have a new Batman collection <laughs> on Dal strong. This is Chris. You should run more games. Um, we also, we, we do have one more special event that we're going to run this year, but I'm not going to tell you what it is, folks. It's going to be great. You're all going to want to be there. Chris is running a game for it. And I'm going to trick Chris into running a game for it. Which just means I'll be like, Chris, that please, I'll, I'll send the pizza to your house. I, I, I do love running games. It's been a while. I thought uh, you were going to say, do you love getting pizza? 
<laughs> so, like the redacted bar appears above my my voice on like the Twitch chat. Like, how did you know I was gonna say something? Well, no, we just have it ready. There's a button. It's like a soundboard, Chris... except it just like mute, like plays an air horn when I get up to nonsense. Yeah, yeah. And this is the Axel Foley theme. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, actually, Christine just installed a bunch of those. Um, so like Bunny Heart, it's had them on her stream for a while, but Christine just installed them on on her stream for her Lego build. I was thinking of potentially installing those. Yes, oh, no, I've alerts. had those for years. Have you had those? Okay. Yeah, I just didn't update them. I updated them recently because I was thinking a lot of, of putting spicy, them. Uh, Starion ones now on sound alerts. Oh, behave! <laughs> so I have one now of him going rar. Rar. Um, I want to play more Baldur's now. Gate, but it, I think it's really, I've been having a lot of fun watching myself on camera slowly sink down in the frame throughout the stream. <laughs> I'm getting closer to the ground. Uh, so that's, that's why I haven't been playing Baldur's Gate. Um, uh, what's everybody else doing? Cause we've got some fantastic, uh, we've got two more tier lists, um, that are coming out soon. Robin did a tier list of her characters and then Christine and Robin both joined me for a ranking uh, my characters and my memorable NPCs uh, onto a tier list. And uh, that's going to be going up on our Patreon soon. Um, so it's another reason to join the damn Patreon. Uh, but what's everybody else doing? Does anybody else have... Oh, Krista, I recorded lines for um, our, our good friend Alante's podcast, um, Our Storied Insight. Yeah. Did you have fun? I, I did. I did not blow my voice out even playing the character that I can't I can't do an impression of right now, but he's a he's a smoke method. So good. And I made him sound like a chain smoking like New Yorker. <laughs> yes, no, they they have some great stuff going on over there and it's very cool. The whole if you haven't if you haven't listened to me or Kelly talk about how awesome this is, uh they cool play people. D D, they record it, and then all of the NPCs they get people to re-record uh with voice lines. Uh so it's lots of fun. Um it's very cool. And and then they also have like extra parts that like weren't in the actual play that are like just side parts with the NPCs so mm -hmm. that the DM doesn't have to sit there and just talk to himself. Uh, but uh, Alante is lovely. Uh, if you watch any of our extra life, <laughs> if you watch the, any of the last couple of uh, um, extra lives, uh, you probably would have seen Alante there. Uh, those wonderful. those episodes are um, coming soon to YouTube. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so they, they do a show called Our Storied Insight and it's very neat. And I got to, I played with him in a, a different, in, in Andrea's Adventures, uh, the Adventure Dice one shots for charity. And, uh, then did a couple of lines for him and was lots of fun, uh, and play a crazy robot lady. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, we're slowly getting other folks to do lines over there. So yeah, go check them out. Nice. That's awesome. I, I had been asked to do an alien like four shot uh, with Breck um, because he's doing all of the alien um, modules. Mm. Uh, but it ended up the one that they were going to do during that time slot uh, is the one that we did uh, <laughs> that I or that I already played in. Uh, and so I, I not only was it not going to fit time wise, but on top of it, I was like, ah, I've already played this. I, I probably should let someone else have the fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair that's fair yeah. um we're going through presently we have um i and i'm sorry that it is not up i intended to have it up before the end of the year but then i got sick um we have uh the first three episodes of destroyer of worlds filmed and i just have to cut them together um and and take out all of the bits where i have to remember the rules because it's been a year since i played the game it's a really good game um but now i'm having trouble continuing that game because of reasons in the last episode Let's just say I don't have to have the entire cast back. <laughs> Alien is a very, very lethal game. Um, yeah. There's been a lot of talk about it in the Discord recently, so. It's a good uh, game. Like, it's really good. Yeah. Um, but when Alien wraps, um, we have another game that's going to be dropping on the Patreon for our monthly bonus games, and it is a game of, uh, of Scion is coming back. Or is coming. I guess it's coming back because we did do that short run. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so questions from the chat. How are you this fine day, Dorktales? I'm I. <laughs> I'm I'm sick. 
I okay. I'm gonna be get on my soapbox for a minute here. Mm. I feel mm. amazing. I have felt better the last two weeks than I have in the last twenty years, probably. I have not had a caffeinated beverage in two weeks. <clears throat> oh, that'll do it. And I haven't had a single anxiety or panic attack. I was in Costco at 3 p.m. on a Sunday when there were not parking spaces. I don't mean like it was hard to find a parking mm -hmm. space. There weren't any. Uh, and I was totally fine. And I have slept properly and actually gone to bed at a reasonable hour. And I have worked out every day for the past two weeks and made myself breakfast. And so, you know what? S Sometimes you got to give up the thing <laughs> that you think is helping you because it's not. Just take a B12 vitamin. <laughs> That's a punch the mic. <laughs> and punch the mic because you're so <laughs> angry at yourself to, for fucking yourself over for the past 20 years having three energy drinks a day. Oh, oh no. Oh, God. Self medicating yeah. is, is, is great, I mean, isn't it? So sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> so I didn't do three energy drinks a day, but I was doing three Americanos a day because I didn't know that they had three or four shots of espresso in them. I just thought they were big uh, coffees. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, so when I finally went to Waves one day and I'm like, hey, can I get like an, a, lar a large Americano? They're like, do you want three or four shots? I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> just, just like. Oh, I've, I've, I've fucked up because uh, it was my first one that day. Uh, and I, I, I didn't have like one or two and it was like in the top of my coffee. Uh, I just thought they were real tasty. And um, yeah, turns out I'm like, hey, doc, why do I feel weird? <laughs> and the doctor why says, does my heart feel like it's exploding? <laughs> well, my, the little runs of like tachycardia I was having did stop when I stopped drinking that much coffee. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there's other reasons, but like, yeah, it's just bad for you. Like, um, mm -hmm. I used to be able to like slam like a double, like a large double double, and go to sleep right away, and like sleep yeah. through the night, uh, which is bad for you. Uh, like it'll wreck your sleep quality. Um, hey y'all, caffeine is like something you need to watch for. Do you not drink the iced tea that makes your head explode or whatever it is? Like, oh, the lemonade, yeah. isn't it? From Panera. Oh yeah, yeah it's lemonade. Oh, yeah, yes. it's lemonade. Yeah. Yeah. The... It's a, it's supposed to be concentrate. Aren't you supposed to mix it with? No, something? no, it's it's no, a fountain. It. Amy, it's a fountain drink. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And they do, okay. they don't mark it as like the level of caffeine that is like. Well, they do they do now they do now after the <laughs> after kill two people. Yeah. Two people. Yeah, exactly. It's just that's two. Wild. That's Reminder, that's not even you one. Your kids stuff from Starbucks. The refreshers are caffeinated. <laughs> yeah. Maybe more so okay. than. Uh, than caffeine. They are energy drinks, basically. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they are not just strawberry and a kai. But, but <laughs> why are why exactly. are you going to, uh, just to get a Panera lemonade. Bread? Their lemonades aren't. <laughs> um, go, gotta go fast. Yeah, you gotta go real fast. fast. Zoom zoom. And I feel you, Kelowna Curd. I also have attention deficit disorder and can drink energy drinks and then go to bed. But that doesn't mean you well, sleep not well. The same. Yeah. yeah, that was me. And I used to be that person. I would like I drink two Cokes before going to bed and be totally fine after having four or five energy. Well, maybe two or three, three. energy drinks and three other sodas. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. And no water. I haven't drank water in 20 years. And I've been drinking like three or four of these a day. You now. have a water so dispenser those... next to your bed. Why? Uh... It, no, 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 no. I have a don't expose you know what's in my bedroom, Kelly. Um, <laughs> I've slept in Krista's bed before, guys. It's comfy. Me too. And um, slightly angled. It's it kind of weird oh. if your feet are above where your head is. Water dispenser. <laughs> so specific. Okay. Oh it God, is distilled secrets. water for my CPAP machine. <laughs> you can I'm drink old. it. Water's water. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. Distilled water's bad for you. Is it? Is it actually bad for you? <laughs> It's not what? good. Just because something says water not... does not mean you should drink it. Like, I don't think well, you should look, drink it. Look, if I see water, water I drink it. Remember, sea water, drinkable. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have another Panera oh, Bread no. situation on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> Dork Tales right, well, not advice. Well, the bottle labeled my cellar water in the bathroom. No. Don't it's your drink. cellar water. <laughs> it's water from the cellar. It's yeah, my cellar water. Saying. 
Don't do it. Yeah, just go a little bit further. And then like Be it's fear. like potable water. You like it's you don't want potable water because that's for your that's for your bomb. Oily. <laughs> <laughs> don't drink it. That's that's potable yeah. water. Oh god. No, it's <laughs> it causes sore throat Burr. and GI discomfort. Thank you, Arvetus. Um okay, so yeah, I have two questions. Good. Uh, Amberthus asks, but other than wishing you well, any other fun, obscure systems you're wanting to bring to the channel in the future? Uh, Doctor Who, the role-playing game, is always fun. Um, uh, Orbital Blues looks like fun. So does Picturesque Roman. And I want someone who's not me to run Ryutama. Someone who is not jaded and tired of the world to run the Miyazaki-esque role-playing game. So, when I was at PAX East... Um, I purchased uh, Venture and Dungeon, which are apparently two different systems that are both love letters to D and D without being D and D. So I'm very I want to try that for an extra life at some point. Do it. Uh, for next next Christmas, I have Kringle Crisis, uh, which is just a little guy, and I'm very excited about it. Just uh, I I was told to buy. Actually, this was given to me crap i will figure out who it was that gave it to me because it was the people that um oh pl plus one xp so plus sign one x exp um gave me this and it's their game and they were incredible wonderful humans um and so they told me to play this and i don't even know what it's about but it sounds amazing from mm -hmm. so yes uh along with uh the one i bought off of them was himbos of myth and myrtle <laughs> myth and metal sorry uh, which I figured was very apropos for this crew. Uh, and also the very good dogs of Chernobyl. Um, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard of that one. In 1986, a meltdown in Reactor 4 at the Vladimir Ilyich Lenin nu nuclear power plant, Soviet Union, uh, pfft, Soviet Ukraine, occurred, punching a hole through reality that allowed creatures of darkness and madness to escape into our world. The tragedy that befell Pripyat, the town built to house the families of the workers of the power plants, well known. In this game, you take on the role of the very good dogs that survived the horrific purge and the battle against the evil growing in the zone. So you play oh. a whole bunch of dogs in Chernobyl fighting evil from different dimensions. I'm in. Oh. Uh, and then the same uh, the same I'm company in. polymorph um also made a game uh where you play pigeons just fucking shit up um and so i might have to get that as well <laughs> the pigeon amazing. in the hole that's great did any yes. of you guys watch uh, yeah, yeah mr bought it yeah, yeah. oh my god yes the good just fellas the, pigeons. The good oh pigeons. my god <laughs> <laughs> that would be very good and then chicken boo like as that. the fourth player yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, just oh, you're goodness. not a player. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you? What'd you call me? <laughs> Never mind that. I think he called you something foul. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Oh, is it? I can go now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can go. Um, someone asked if you're going to try the Terminator uh, role-playing game system. Mm. Uh, yeah, I would love to. I keep It keeps getting pushed back. I was going to run it a, um, about a year and a half ago, um, but then it was summer, and I was going to run it while wearing a lot of leather, and I was like, nope. <laughs> nope. Fair. What system uh, is it out of? It's its like own it's... system. Okay. I would, um, I would play it. It's on my shelf. It is definitely something I've looked over. One of the things that I'm going to be trying to do a lot more of this year is a lot more like game dev stuff for the Patreon and for public release. Um, I want to design more stuff to start work on the book because I would like to publish the book. How many drama bombs do I have? Any would you wish? Uh, do you wish, do you have, uh, well, we're just doing, we're just doing an intermission chat today. So my drama bomb, well, what do I use drama bombs in this chat? Uh, would I just like just, spill it tea? Just becomes truth or oh, oh my God. <laughs> I, it already is guys. The chat can ask me literally anything aside from like my social insurance number and I'll tell them. Three numbers on the back of your credit card. Right. <laughs> Good luck getting anything out of it. Do you know I'm a, hey. I, I'm, a I'm an influencer. <laughs> like I'm a I'm a Twitch streamer, guys. I don't have any money. Join Did the you, Patreon. Have you seen that? Uh, uh, the old Vine, where, or it's a TikTok where the guy pretends to be an influencer in front of his friend in the car, and I think they're Scottish, and she just howls with laughter. As soon, 
all right everyone welcome to my like my get ready with me and she she just burst into tears like what are you doing like who is this person like every day i get up i go to the gym at five in the morning and she's like don't yeah. you don't you fucking lie <laughs> <laughs> you got to get that that sigma grind set Blech. god <laughs> god I sigma know. button a chair and play a video game we're going to try to get up not quite that early and go to the yeah. gym in the morning. Yeah, we're going to try to do a before work workout. It's the only time I can soon. fit it in is before the work day. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. I, I need to get back to the gym, guys. I've been the doing trick, like... Caitlin, I can't do cardio in the morning because I sweat like a pig. <laughs> do you when have I do gotcha. cardio, I drip. It's disgusting. So, um, so no I cardio for me drip? before work. No. I'm going to try yeah. and just do muscle weight. <laughs> that was that was particularly rough of being back in Kansas, visiting family, eating like a Kansas person, Kansasian, Kansonian, <laughs> uh, eating like a Midwesterner, and then watching the broadcasts from previous years of Dork Tales where I have to look at my face and I'm like, man, it used to be a rectangle. <laughs> now it's like an ob oblate spheroid. <laughs> Oh, has has anyone else made a uh, 2024 resolution bingo card instead of oh, making what? resolutions? What? What's so what? What is this? A bingo card of your resolutions. And so then this way, you oh. don't have one thing that if you fail, you fucking fail. So now you have the opportunity to, hey, I've done four of these things so far this year. Ooh, that one's the end of my row. Maybe I should really gun for that one. What happens if and you I'm win? very excited. Oh. That yeah, looks what do you like get? Fun. What do you get for finishing it? What's the prize? You get a little mm -hmm. treat. You get to do all those X's. I don't need That's that. the treat. Do. That's the treat. <laughs> I love checking things dobber. off the list. <gasps> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, bingo dog. I always like fuck those up though. Every time I play music bingo, it just gets all over the place. It's on my face. Yeah. It's in my hair. You got a color know. inside the lines, Caitlin. Oh, I was never good at that. <laughs> that's the one satisfying thing about the sheer number of lists i have to do at work yeah is that i break my to-do list down into big things and each of those big things has a bunch of small things that yeah. i have to go tick, 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 with another well, i do that and then i have a whole lot more things Love to ignore it. and forget about no you guys i just rewrite wanna... a list every day because oh, no. mine are like this big and then i have multicolored pens it's great we have purple these are pens. the adhd mode it's activate like these are my active lists Whoa. I can't why stand do, that. That would stress you, me out so bad. Why do I, oh yeah, why do I have an anxiety disorder? Hmm. <laughs> so my my entire bottom row is just use planner for two months, use planner for five months, oh, use God. planner for nine months, use planner for twelve months, <laughs> and I have <laughs> and I have a planner planner that I've actually been using properly for two whole weeks, which is longer what than if? I've ever oh. okay. But and what then, if like, you a journal thing that's actually got like cute little like day-to-day -day things and different like prompts on how to journal and it's very cute and i'm very excited for it i feel like if you're and if you're missing if you're missing items on that you could always put world events to help fill in some gaps like hasbro does another shitty oh, thing God. that's basically a free space <laughs> help bring about the apocalypse yes correct <laughs> they just did another one do you hear about the magic card stuff of course you did the ai stuff yeah god listen uh, that's why i stopped streaming my magic content uh a couple of years back i was like man i i love this game uh and like i've been playing it since literally since i was six years old uh wow. well, not six like probably well probably like eight or nine that's six. Uh, yeah. the same as me yeah and then watching uh watsy do things it's like it's the the just stepping on a rake, hitting them in the face, turn around, step on another rake, <laughs> hit them in the face, and each of them is like a different like different crap thing. But like corporations are not our friend, and we'll continue to do things that uh, right. offend us until we tell them, "Hey, this sucks, and we're not buying your product until you fix it." Um, which they've been pretty good about with the AI stuff. They've been like, "Hey, we bought this from a vendor. It's not an excuse for it," um, and I'm not I'm not excusing them for this. I understand how it happened. It's bad. Maybe if they hadn't laid off a thousand people, they would have caught it, but they didn't. So that's where we're at. And that's kind of, I really appreciate you like bringing it up like on our stream. Cause like I love playing D&D with, with my friends, but it does like burn me a little bit. <laughs> like, like when I, like one of my major hobbies keeps having things happen that I'm like, I can't co-sign this. This is not, this is not <laughs> in alignment with my values. 
Yeah, yeah. I see I'm I'm very lucky in that I only just started playing Magic like a year ago. Um and uh because some one of my partners was like, "Here's a Magic deck." And I was like, "No what this how long did this take you?" Like it was completely built around like dragons and enchantments and like totally fit like my style of D&D and it was just like the sweetest thing anyone has ever made for me. Um but he has been playing for a long time and loves buying and loved loved buying cards, so he has a closet of just cards that I can just pick from. <laughs> And so I build my decks out of his rejects. Oh, yes, the card closet, the closet for cards. That closet. Correct. That closet. We have one of those, oh. too. I have, I have a bookshelf <laughs> beside, like, beside me. You also uh, have... Oh, Hecatonis, thank you for all the subs. Hecka? Oh. What? That was Hecka cool. <laughs> Heckin' great. Hi, Hecka. That was heckin' great. I bet, I bet Precarious can't drop at least as many subs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good. You don't need to encourage Breck. Thank you yeah, very much. Fun. That's very kind of you. Very sweet. You're all you're awesome. Thank you're you so wonderful. much. Wonderful. Brex not in the chat <laughs> right now. Anyway, and remember, you know, if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free sub on uh, on Twitch. So if you're not using yeah. it and you have Amazon Prime, because God, who can't in this day and age? They're uh, introducing ads. In, I know if, into their. <laughs> and if if you use Amazon Prime to uh, sub for us, that's a foot long. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Figure I don't it out. No, uh, Chris is going to tell me <laughs> later. <laughs> He said, you said you'd show me after stream. <laughs> yeah, it's a reach issue. <laughs> you follow me on my socials. You know what's up. I, I, I am like the only person who has not seen anything on your socials. I just, I've been so lucky because like, I'll, I'll be like laying there like on the couch and I'll just hear from a random person who follows you. Well, there's Chris's Chris again. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, I, this is one of the reasons, it's not the reason I stay off Twitter. Uh, there are a lot of reasons I, <laughs> I, I honestly, you can hear something. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, a, can I, I'm sick enough right now. You want me to be a hunted, a hunted on something? I see all of these other, like, what, like we're, uh, Dorktales is friends with a lot of other content creators. And I see a lot of posts on Twitter getting a lot of traction. And that like, like from, from other content creators we're friends with. And I'm like. I'll post something. It'll get a few, it'll get a few likes. I'll get a few shares, uh, but they'll like get like 60, 70 likes on something, maybe a hundred. And I'll be like, how, why aren't my Twitters as good? Am I failing? I don't think so. I think I just, I think the echo chamber really gets to me because it's like, if you've got people who like things on Twitter, they like things on Twitter and that's what they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. So hi, it's, hi goblets. it's a lot about, yeah, there it is. It's about building yourself that like, that bubble of just like whenever you see it it gets likes and mm -hmm. it's so much work because like mm -hmm. there are so many content creators mm -hmm. out there that all they do is they're making the content that is designed to be instantly ingested and and liked and then moved on from whereas mm -hmm. the content you create is long form and mm -hmm. really well thought out and like a lot of effort put into it but it isn't easily accessible our content um, has reach like I have had to yeah. give myself like specific goals of like when I'm scrolling TikTok being like, oh, I actually laughed at that. I enjoyed that. I should hit the like because mm -hmm. I yeah. liked it <laughs> because it's so easy to just scroll through mindlessly and never like interact with it at all. Like doing That's... social media takes so much effort. <laughs> and it's really hard to get someone from, say, TikTok to go like your Instagram or someone from Twitch to go like your Twitter. It's yep. hard to get mm. cross-platform content, even if you post the exact same thing and cross-post to each place. Oh. It's just super hard. People kind of get their their niche and they like this this social media platform, even though they're all becoming each other anyways. But that's oh, my my God. Watching <laughs> YouTube oh, shorts, my God. Facebook reels, Instagram right? reels. I hate it, those. So much. And then TikTok's they're... like, hey, guess what? People who do posts with pictures get 2.9 times the, you know, um, interaction rate as people who just do videos. And I'm like, TikTok, what the hell? <laughs> Well, not and you TikTok, too TikTok. and then tiktok stores there's there have been some great things on i think it's been mostly game theory where they've or maybe film theory where they've been breaking down how youtube is killing itself with the shorts and it's Ooh. a really they're really interesting videos because um 
they they interviewed some people to be their social media managers this year and this is this is like a, a story from them and um when you interview people who know a lot about youtube stuff you're like uh real quick uh who's your favorite creator on youtube that you watch for those who watch youtube here uh who do you like? history okay cooking t tasting history um uh uh dimension 20 for those for the episodes that are still on dimension 20 or brendan lee mulligan stuff there um dork tales they're my dork favorite tales. youtube creator dork tales. <laughs> i watch scaredy cats um oh uh mtg goldfish they're like one of the, my favorite like content creator fair. channels for that so like the, there's a joe cat i love joe cat i hate what you guys did to joe cat if you god I remember if that's, if that's yeah, but that was like 10 years ago but like yeah the brothers green all of changed. that stuff but mm -hmm. like um, so people always have like YouTube channels that they can talk about, but if you're like, Hey, who's your fit? Tell me about your favorite vine creator or not your vine creator. That's the problem right there. Um, millennial, yo. Um, but tell me about your favorite TikTok person. And aside from a couple of people, you really can't name because you're scrolling through and just, you don't, it doesn't stick. Like I can think Jordan, the stallion and Queen Australia, Silver Rocks. Um, I'm oh, trying so to think of a few others off the top of my head. Oh, I can't remember right now, but it's like what's face who does all the um, uh, all the has like the the owl, uh, the oh, harpy. Yeah, yeah. So there's no like I I, I, I know can, this name. I can I tell you the thing with the you like I can yeah. Google like that, the person but, that does the owl. But that's hat. the thing, right? It's not <laughs> yeah. and, like their content. The creator has been Ms. taken Ms. out of the content. No. All right. A little bit, yeah. With well, with some of them, yeah. I I know that like. I follow a Selena Spooky Boo, um, who's pretty great, but and mm. she very much posts like this is my life or this is this kind mm. of thing and this she so she kind of mixes it up or this is my sleepwalking tape or whatever. Um well, she mixes it up enough for me to remember her name. Basically. Or and call me Chris too. Okay. And my friendship is so good. But anyway, mm. yeah. Well basically what they were saying is that they did um uh, at VidCon last year, they did a bigger push on TikTok stuff and they were finding that people weren't getting in line to meet the TikTok creators because their following wasn't as solidified so it's killing the influencer market i don't know it's weird and at, or a content well, creator it's, market well, it's interesting because i started seeing uh what's their face dan i think it's daniel thrasher who i started seeing them as a youtube creator and then they've taken some of their skits their shorter ones and have broken them down into TikTok videos yeah. which i guess works in that way but i don't know how i'm very curious how it works in terms of the longer yeah, I don't know. What is yeah, the okay. I keep noticing a big trend with like the videos that are just a picture or with like voiceover or text that is basically an am I the asshole text that has nothing to do with what the video or the picture is. It's usually Minecraft footage or something or that that running game, right? No, that, I that's really YouTube, like the jumping but... Minecraft stuff. It's kind of relaxing. Um, oh, I hate it. No, it, it could so be much. like somebody cooking, like all sorts of weird shit. And I find those really irritating because I'm like. That's all I, I do with what I'm watching. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna call out. Uh, there's a TikTok channel. I don't remember what its name is, but they do World of Darkness, particularly Werewolf: The Apocalypse lore, and they use an AI ripoff of Geralt's. Um, I forget the actor's name, but his video game voice. They use an AI generator so that Ooh. it's the Fianna or uh, and it's it's like, dude, you're you're making content. You're profiting by stealing this man's voice. Please don't no. do that. That's so you're, shitty. You're stealing his voice to read content from White Wolf. Right? Like, who are you? James Sutter? Um, James but, Sutton? What's his name? I forget. Thanks, H-Bomber uh, guy. You've erased there, him from my memory. Uh, there a, a James Summerton? I don't know. He's gone. Uh, there's a question from uh, Zingor in chat there. Uh, for, a cat, for the cast... What is the best comfort food? Ooh. Um, macaroni and cheese. Depends and on cheese the is... mood. Depends yeah. on what I need to be comforted for. That's fair. That's, uh, mood. That's fair. Do Break I need cheese? Is, is it? Is this like a, I'm really sad and I need to gorge on cheesecake? Do I need chocolate ice cream? Is this like a, a brownie fudge situation? Oh, gosh. Uh, let's say, okay, let's go death. Uh, spicy ramen. Yeah. Oh, like real spicy yeah. ramen. Like, like, yeah, I feel like really cold out. For me I don't want to cook right then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not cooking it, but I will eat the spicy ramen because then I can't have my feelings. 
uh because what i'm feeling is spicy Pain. and also warm like warm and also spicy and anime tears as a uh, spicy yeah. food lover i feel real called out right yeah. now <laughs> <laughs> i can't um, feel anything else warm. it's all just spicy the, the I greatest feel cold food when i'm upset uh ice cream is a great comfort food of course um as is cheesecake um i think the mm. greatest comfort food is soup yeah that's only if i'm Mc if for me that's only if i'm sick like if i'm feeling like on that sick edge then i'm like oh no it's all about the soup warm food for me one. one pan meals uh, mm. mcdoubles specifically yeah. mcdoubles dude mcdoubles when they were like now they're like four bucks they used to be like know, two bucks it's insane yeah yeah how was cream I, pie not allowed? <laughs> I just had to permit cream pie to be oh to my be, God. to be one of our permitted terms. And it's like, a lot is, uh, someone a lot someone clicked that I just done. needed to allow cream pie. I did. You, know what? you know what? That's actually a fair thing to block out. No, uh, we always we are pro cream pie on this channel. <laughs> I just bought I just bought banana cream pie protein powder. Yikes. I love it. Oh, and we know Caleb's pro cream. <laughs> what is the worst uh, flavor of protein? The worst flavor of protein? What? Oh yeah, there's protein what? powder. Oh yeah. If oh, you yeah. don't know, you don't know. Um, oh yeah. There's some real. Uh, for me, it's They're the vegan the protein. <laughs> the Vega vegan protein. Yeah. It tastes. Oh like, yeah. It tastes like veg like not, not ground vegetable. But like, also like cardboard box. Uh, I. <laughs> oh, you gotta have to allow cream pies too. <laughs> I mean, if you allow one, you gotta allow them all. Um, <laughs> this is the danger. This is the slippery slope of cream pies. <laughs> um, cream pies on a slope would be very slippery. This would be very slippery. What are we talking about? Um, uh, I don't know. So like, I don't want to name brands that I use, but like, um, I just bought the banana cream one. I really love a strawberry protein powder. Strawberry is cream. almost always a winner. Like, yeah, cookies and cream is always solid. Cookies and cream is good. I, strawberry, I find, like, of all the different types I've had, whenever I have the strawberry, it's always, like, fine. The, there's some real bad, like, uh, birthday cake flavor. Uh, it can be really good or real bad. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. it can be real solid. But pro protein, like, bars that are birthday cake flavor are usually pretty good also anything with lemon in it tends to be pretty good because it's such an overpowering flavor that i think it masks a lot of stuff i find i can screw up lemon pretty easily though when it's too really? sweet oh that's yeah. true that's true um i'm just thinking all like the gross like the gross like chemically I honestly i mean <laughs> they're all so bad you know what's you know what's really good the uh concentrate of mcdonald's orange drink oh <laughs> so you know when you go to like a kids event yeah. and they have the jugs, right? Sports so day. Buy, yeah, you have sports <laughs> day. So I used to be in student government, who to guessed, uh, in high school. And we used to run this thing called the grade because we used to call it run run this thing called the grade eight hike and so we would have all the grade eights hike down to this park it was like a 20 minute walk um but at the end of it me and a couple of the other people were finishing cleaning up and there was one jug left of this orange drank concentrate mm -hmm. and our teacher was like it expires in six months so we can't save it for next year so do you guys want this and my friend and i were like yes and we promptly took it home and did one-to-one -one double shots of <laughs> concentrate and vodka <laughs> what the fuck like, did it come out like a jelly <laughs> it was so gross well, actually it was fine it was just so sugary and we were like 18 oh. so it was 17 18 so it was just sugar and then we chased it with orange drank concentrate in seven up um, and so okay. we would just do shots of this. We did an entire two six of vodka between the two of us. Oh my and God. And his mom woke us up at seven in the morning when we'd been up till three drinking because he had to go to the dentist and told me I had to go home. And so I got in my car and started driving and I was like, this is a bad idea. I'm not hungover. I'm still drunk. Immediately oh. pulled over and just slept for six hours in my car. <laughs> That's so much. That's so it much was vodka. Brutal. And then it was so much. That's so, so much sugar. Oh my god. <laughs> Yuck. Like I think that would probably kill me now. 
Like now, yes. Oh yeah, thirty-seven-year-old Krista would die instantly. Seventeen-year-old <laughs> weird... Krista was fine. <laughs> I weirdly can't drink vodka, like like Smirnoff vodka or anything like that, like vodka drinks. I can't drink them at all. I had one, like years ago. I had one for Thanksgiving, just one. I traded one one-to-one drink with my sister. And oh my god, I had the worst. Every time I even have a little bit of vodka, it's I have the worst hangover the next day. And it's just vodka. It's weird. weird. It's very weird. It is very weird. There must be yeah. something good, like the potato or something. Sure. You're just yeah. ice. I mean, You're just not Irish enough. Wait, yeah. Irish or Russian enough? Well, for the are potato. You, are you familiar with uh, the the icing game? I one hundred percent. Maybe no. we did that too much when we were younger. But one of these New Years, I remember what? we we were icing. I remember one of my friends was getting out of the bathroom, and someone literally iced him as he just got out of the bathroom from puking. Anyway, that's good times. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> icing someone is hiding a, a Smirnoff ice somewhere, and then if you find it, you have to take a knee and chug it. What? Yeah, but, Canada, Canada. But <laughs> no, if you have one of your I own to present, pod. If you have if what? You, if you have one to present in return while you are iced yourself, yes, they have to drink both of them. That's right. <gasps> so people wow. just carry Reverse yeah, Uno that. with alcohol. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, but here's the thing. Now I drink very, just drink very nice gin drinks. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I, I don't really <laughs> drink like that anymore because. No, uh, God, no! I haven't drank like that in ten years. I generally just don't drink because I find it makes me pass out in the evening. Now, if I have like a drink after work, it's not relaxing; it is passing out. <laughs> it's just like, oh, now I'm tired. All right, bye. Yeah, not doing anything, I guess. <laughs> so I just don't drink now. Amber, this has a question uh, that uh, Christine put in the chat. Uh, Other than your incredible talents at making costumes, any tips for us on the best ways to try and get some simple but lovely costumes together? Layering. Yeah. Yeah. Take like a basic piece and then add like one or two pieces to it. Mm -hmm. Keep it minimal. (laughs) Yeah, you can get uh... some really good small pieces that you can use for a whole bunch of different costumes. Um, my moss costume uh, for what game was that called again? Um, oh, the world shoot. below. World below for world below was literally two hoodies, one on forwards and one on backwards, so it looked like I had a cowl. So <laughs> nice! Oh my god, scarves! Scarves are so yeah, versatile. Yeah, you can buy, you can buy them for cheap. Yeah. Also, yeah. When we started, I had like one good kind of medievally looking shirt fantasy peasant shirt type thing yeah i have more now <laughs> but mm-hmm. like you only really yeah. need like one or two like have a cream color have a dark color and then yeah. you can have like this is like better versatile stuff like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as needed to like change it for a different character mm-hmm. belts like will really change a necklace different mm-hmm. wig anything also, like that will do it and and know what you're sorry go ahead kelly I was going to say, remember, like, find out what you're showing for costume, because if you're not, if you're only showing from, like, mid-chest, don't worry about don't pants. pants. I'm not wearing pants right now. Why Why should you? Pants are optional. <laughs> raise, raise your hand if you're wearing pants right now. So, Technically, like, yes. Pants. Underneath my dress, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're double I am, I am wearing stuff I on my legs. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> Like yes. I love ha- like the, having a poncho for Sindri because it's just like I get to like wear shorts underneath and I'm just like vibing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I will say that um, get pieces that are comfortable and that you like wearing. If you are going to buy something, don't buy something because it looks cool. If you hate wearing it, uh, and that's for clothing in general, but like especially for a costume that you're going to wear for like months, like mm-hmm. <laughs> d- mm. d- yeah. try and try it before you commit to doing it pu- like publicly because. Otherwise, you're don't, like don't mm. commit. Don't commit to being a gif and make yourself an entire mascot head, and then have to do that in the middle of summer for three months. Oh God. It was really good though. <laughs> it was really. It was worth it. It, it was, was worth yeah. it for us. Um, yeah, yeah. It was. Is the the gif that keeps on giving? <laughs> or so, 
or find a very good way in game to get rid of it, i.e., my ponytail, because oh god, <laughs> heavy and I was waiting for that botch, and then it happened. And I'm like, I guess, I guess Carmilla's doing it. I was about it have a outside of stream. Uh, yeah, was it was going like, to happen to the first hit gone, you took, it? and the first hit you took was from Carmilla that game. So I was like, oh, here we go. Oh, um, and launderability, yeah. So um, wash your costumes mm. if they stink. Um, or... We have. You can or, use the breeze. alcohol method if you can't. That's alcohol true. method. What's yeah, the alcohol? Is it just vodka? I think it's uh, any clear a third any vodka to yeah. water. So um, that's one of the benefits Apart, because um, we yeah, don't stream in person. So uh, if one of us stinks, we can't tell. <laughs> It's it's great. Truth? This people are like people have talked about how like oh you know would you ever stream in person again? And it'd be like yeah totally. If we had a studio, I would love to do that. Out of my living room, no, because it, it was it was fine being in a room with people. Um, uh, it was kind of uncomfortable for a lot of people being crammed together on a couch. Um, but there's also that during break we only have one bathroom, and uh. Gets a little hectic in the bigger games. Gets, gets a little hectic, you know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. It was also hard I've, to camera angle well. Yeah, you get a, like, you can totally adjust your camera angles here, and it's nice. That's one thing, guys, if you are on a stream, if you are on a stream, let me show you something real quick. Okay, I'm going to regret this later. There's my head. Okay, so if you shoot like, like, not that much, but if you shoot like this versus like, this look how much of your jowls go away <laughs> if you're if you're self-conscious about that remember a slight downward angle like be flattering to yourself guys it's it's your it's yeah and there's my ceiling you can see the my, ceiling cat my camera is is above my head like it is fully pointing down <laughs> for that exact Same. reason mine is up on my monitors also you can show off your cleavage easier that way if you're if you're the type exactly. of Chris. yeah i just tilt a little bit Ow, down that hurt why did i do that <laughs> i don't know know your angles remember shimmy. your lighting like it didn't work <laughs> remember your lighting uh, I have I have so much lighting, guys. I don't like I I have a spotlight here. I have a spotlight there. I have a spotlight there, and then I have a giant like studio light up here, as well as my regular room light. Like, it's it's diverse. <laughs> I need. I have one ring light. You're calling yeah, me I out see. because I need more lighting. Oh, he's a purple people eater. <laughs> there you go. I just wish my ring light had like a remote, so from here I could change it instead of having to get up and go yeah. around my desk. Oh, so like I I switched to a different camera um in the middle of last year and I'm I'm often a little overexposed because of it because I also have a 50 inch monitor in front of me that is also my TV yeah. and it's very bright um so I need to I need to add another camera or I could just do this because Chris was just dicking around so so will I uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what you but... need you need one of those um those things that they have at like banks that. D d One of those uh, mnemonic tubes. Tube. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the tube. Tube. What are you using for that, uh, Kelly? I'm using a <laughs> defunct version of Snap Camera. Ah. Uh, <laughs> with filters oh I downloaded goodness. before they exploded, because I need this for um, I need this for reasons. <laughs> Very important. Yeah. Very important. Okay. I need this for Kyle. So. One of the big tricks <laughs> about lighting, though. <laughs> quite often is don't point it directly at you. <clears throat> Bounce it. Yeah. Work. Except for this one. <laughs> Mine's actually Mine pointed, one. Okay. Mine's pointed at my wall and ceiling and it just bounces back uh, off the light colored walls at me. Yeah, that's what I And I actually only have it light. at 50% because any higher and my good. face blooms mm -hmm. with light and it's very hard mm -hmm. to to see. This is what I happens when I turn. <laughs> picked up some mm -hmm. the like the Elgato minis. Like the mini Oh yeah, God. that's disturbing. <laughs> I really hate that. Ah, it was on the give you room. Really oh my outside. God, it does the same. <laughs> <laughs> I hate looking at that. Wow. Oh my God, I love it so I was much. That whole question it goes along with the with the Valentines I just purchased for work. Oh my God. <laughs> because there's one. There's one Is that, that the says cat from Stray. I don't know. Derical Valentine. Oh my god. 
Anyway, I got those and adorable baby Yoda ones. Oh, nice. Ooh. But yeah, Spoon honestly, when it comes to spooky. costuming, also, if you are going to be doing a very extreme makeup look and you have <laughs> a pale white or cream shirt, maybe invest in getting a piece of fabric that you use when you're putting it on. Like, get, get yourself a little hood. <laughs> that you put on after doing your makeup before you put the shirt on or take it off so you yeah, don't it's called, it's called a diggy. foundation into your collar because <laughs> get, god damn it that shit does not move get it now <laughs> several of my costume shirts still have much makeup encrusted into their seams because mm -hmm. once it hits you the can seam, also it don't move <laughs> The other way around, and this is from my dance background, if you're if you have like a really tight fitted costume you're putting on, you can mm. have if you have like a big oversized button down, put that over top as you're doing your makeup so you don't risk like dripping or or powdering a bunch of your costume and getting makeup all over it. So one of those ways yeah. will help you. <laughs> Fair. Or just make sure your neckline is so wide on the sh whatever you're I... wearing that yes, you can pull it over easily. The shirt I wore for <laughs> Alessandra is um, kind of tight neck hole, so it's a little difficult mm -hmm. to not get makeup on it. You could alter always... it up the back, like you could like like put it like a, put a, a zipper like or a, something. Yeah, zip up the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Krista yeah, does I... not live on the island, and that is too much work. <laughs> That's we, fair for somebody who does not sew. Or the, the rest you, of us can learn. Like me, so. for. I and make this disastrous <laughs> piece of fabric is my Carmilla shirt. Uh, <laughs> because it's too small but i love the fabric so i literally just cut it down the sides of the armholes <laughs> so that it does <laughs> up at the front that's and amazing the front. And, and nobody then I sees it nobody sees reveal. it nobody knows <laughs> if you if you go back to um i forget which candle keep episode it is it's one of the ones i think krista ran i played uh, a jedi and my jedi robes are three pairs of pants <laughs> Because I just put the legs over and then pin them. So it's lair, lair, lair. It's like, just to remember. With him with that beard saying, I just took the legs and wrapped them over. <laughs> oh. I just put the legs and wrapped them over. It's because this is, is this, is this doing it for you, Krista? Oh, yeah. It's got me going. You want to split God. an IPA? Krista, will you split oh, no. an IPA with me? <laughs> you hey, and Krista. your shacket and your beard. My shacket, my beard. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make some latte oh, art? Hang on, I need. Hang on, I have a better shirt for this. Oh no! Oh god, help! Change. I can't help me saved. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Finally, I finally became a West oh. Coast bisexual and got a max. <laughs> out of you. I have you finally on. evolved. I the yellow one. I did. Oh. So Remember happy. me. <laughs> Hi. Get out of your bubble, you're dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Why was there a bubble? What happened? What was that? Well, I'll be on the witch light. The witch light. No, oh, I mean, oh, yeah, my sure. God. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it was a bubble. <laughs> right. That, uh, Isaac eventually like. Didn't I don't know why it only does half the screen, <laughs> but. While well, uh, the Witch Light has some of the best NPCs, like they have some. We're inter oh, guys, we have to call. We have to quiet down. We're interrupting Robin's sex scene with Halson in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> oh. We gotta, we gotta oh, quiet right. down. I'm sorry. Oh, I have oh, wow. Uh, wow. Arvetta's had a question wow. for me regarding Carmilla oh, yeah. Alizarin. Um, so, I don't think it's named after the pigment. I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. So Carmilla is a very famous vampire. It's the first generally one. thought of as the very first. Yeah, it's, it's the first vampire novel. Uh, like it, it predates Dracula. Um, and it is also considered the very first lesbian vampire novel. Um, so, you know, uh, I, it, I don't do the podcast anymore, but I very briefly with my ex did a podcast called Based On, um, where we talked about movies based on books and the books that they're based on. Um, and we did Carmilla because there was a, uh, a film, indie film made of it. I thought that, that was, was Alexander's job. 
exactly <laughs> um uh but i went it the episode of that was just me going on a rampage about the fucking editor of the book version that i read um because she basically just made up a bunch of historical documents and said that this person was walking around the house of the per of the original author and found all these notes and found all this information and learned about this person's backstory and and the real people that this book was based on and it's all fucking fake but it's written as a foreword and I was so angry about it. And they were just and friends. So, and well, she was doing the opposite. Because like, if you read the book, it's like, okay, yeah, there's a lot of like, this book was written in the 1800s. It's clearly lesbians, but it's written in a way that it's not lesbians. Um, Lesbian but it, I was, but this, but this woman was like, essentially making up evidence that it was a lesbian story. And it was distinctly about these two real life people who were actually lesbians and blah, 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 blah. But it isn't. Like, anyway, this is not this, this, if you want to listen to hear me rant about it for quite literally like 40 minutes, you can go find the based on episode. I think it's still up somewhere. Um, <laughs> uh, but no, that, that is what her name is based on. And Alizarin i think it's another vampire name i don't know i think i googled There's like vampire Al names that Al might have been it i Al can't Al remember what it was from it's too i don't know i forget why i do things uh, moments after i do them so um oh no you're correct it is based on red you're right yes it is an or it is it is a red paint uh alizarin is based on that compound and that is i believe why i named it that uh because it meant red or it meant blood or something like that and i liked that <laughs> you like blood but yes good call and, arvetis you called blood. it <laughs> and it's very fun to say in the vampire accent is carmilla alizarin yes all right, you do come back at the strangest moments. All right, so folks, uh, any other questions you have about the campaign? Uh, anything else you want to say? It has been an absolute pleasure and privilege to run this for you. I, I want to verbally state, uh, apparently the original version of Lost Mine of Fandelver and the beginning of this book, I, I claimed in our how-to episode that they were the same. They're apparently vastly different, and I just didn't read the first one correctly, so sorry. Um, I just want to say that publicly. I'm sorry. I guess I read the wrong one or I read it an, an updated version that was very, very similar. Um, but I, that apparently was incorrect. So thank you for letting me know that. Um, I appreciate knowing when I make a mistake. Um, but, oh, I got to hurt them more. Um, okay, oh, Gibby, geez. someone uh, just redeemed a hurt them more. How do I hurt why? them more? <laughs> what? Huh. I've been good for the last like 10 or 15 minutes. That's it. All right. Uh, how do I hurt you more? I think that's uh, the problem. I'll add it to next Tell episode. Tell us what you really think of us, Kelly. Can we do a, a cats themed uh, episode for Extra Life? I'll run it. Oh, no, because you. Themed cats themed which musical? version? Yeah. Oh, obviously the the, the butthole version of the. I was movie about release. to say, do the butthole included. <laughs> I still haven't seen it. Well, my brother saw it three either. times in theaters. Oh, why? Oh, my God. Okay. Really um, high every ca time. Ca <laughs> ca ca cast viewing of cats, like that'll hurt. There them we more. go. Yep. Like yep. live watch along. What? Right. Yeah. Okay. Let uh, make them suffer, not hurt them more. <laughs> I accidentally double dosed one of my medications one day when I was supposed to be running D and D. I'm like, oh, I can't do it today. I, like, I can't focus. I can't really think clearly. Uh, so they're like, well, cats just came out. So I sat in a wingback chair directly facing a monitor about 10 feet away, or not 10 feet, like eight, and like beamed Andrew Lloyd Webber's cats directly into my brain. Uh, yeah, everyone had a time. Uh, my favorite cat is Gimbal Shanks, uh, the railway cat. That's because you yourself because, are a railway cat. Because you're correct and you should say it. He is, he is the best cat. He is not the cat that unzips his skin and has it flop open into a dress. Uh, thank you, Rebel Wilson cat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I want to stop talking about this because this is going to give me nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> the more is Chris talks about cats some more. Uh, no, uh, please, God, no. Please. <laughs> Anything else? I mean, in other news, Mark Hamill finally uh, met his mother from Star Wars. Yeah, Natalie Portman. Yeah. Mother. Yeah. Hello, mommy. Adorable. That's so cute. 
Um, I will use that hurt them more in the next episode. Uh, all right. So folks, Hey, thank you for, for putting up with us. Um, if you're listening to this on, on YouTube or you're listening to it on the podcast and you're like, why did you do this? It's because I didn't want to skip a week of content because we'd already missed like two weeks for the holidays. And I, I know that I, I'm dying. There are some times in our private chat where I've been like, can someone talk? I can't, I can't read out this question. Um, but thank you so much for all of your love and support. Thanks for, uh, for coming with us into 2024. I'm looking forward to all of the fun and adventures and stories that we're going to be able to share with you. Um, and if you are so inclined, consider joining the Patreon. You'll see some other stuff first. Um, you will directly contribute to the channel. Like, um, unlike subs on Twitch, which still thank you very much for those who sub on Twitch. Um, I think it's like an extra 35% goes to the channel versus Jeff Bezos. Uh, but use your Amazon Prime sub. Give give me give me your Prime bucks because that just takes it. Um, and there'll be a bunch of stuff going up on the Patreon very soon. I'll pro it'll probably be like a little bit delayed just because sitting up is surprisingly tiring. I don't know why. Why do you have a lion in frame? You lying to me? It's Kimball Shanks. Oh, okay. That's fair. He's he's not wearing his railway conductor costume. Okay, well, that's, I mean, I'm, he is in my heart. Um, but yes, please consider joining the Patreon. It'd be great to have you there. God, he's just teleporting. Um, it would be wonderful to have you over there. But at the very least, stick around for um, for all of the fun as we move into the last bit of Fandelver. And then make our way down below the Shattered Obelisk. Uh, when the game will actually really pick up and start going crazy. I'm very excited for how creepy and disturbing this is going to be. Um, a big thank you to everybody who's on our Patreon right now, starting with my mom, who's our divine producer. Hi, mom. How's it going? Uh, finally getting that that guy you created, well, that I created in your stead to show up, so hi. Um, to our demonic producer, Precarious, thank you so much. Go check out uh, his channel on twitch.tv slash Precarious for plenty of alien content, and he's also going to be in our alien game that's dropping on our Patreon soon. Um, go check out our Wizards of the Patreon. I don't know where, but check them out. They're pretty They're pretty hot. Um, they are um, the Ink Goblin and Tammy the Forever Cleric, and our High Council of the Patreon, uh, who are all amazing, and that is Darren uh Ter Terran Dustin oh my god I'm fading uh it's Darren <laughs> Darren from Bewitched um Terran Dustin Amberthist Raven with Bobbles Karasha Urquhart Chef Aladeth Sorcerer Sanguine Laruk Mike Baxter and Kelowna Curd you guys are all amazing thank you so much for for help keeping the channel going um any last words I'm fading uh Birdle. Me but is what? burgle i Bur almost broke krista just now and i'm very pleased <laughs> you just what <laughs> Fan handling and bellow scattered marble bisque the uh, scattered marble bisque <laughs> what what okay, i don't Del understand below the, the scattered <laughs> marble bisque oh my god <laughs> Anyhow, good night. Uh, good, that uh, that is the note we're Good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah, the check Mage out. the Awakening podcast. <laughs> Mage the Ascension podcast. But yeah, Mage the Ascension check, podcast. Check it out. It's got it just actually <laughs> broke ten thousand downloads. So good job, Jen. Yeah! Uh, hey, good job, Jen. Um, and uh, come back. I, we should be fine. Um, I'm not sure if Shards of Nern is running tomorrow. If I'm feeling this gross, we might do another talk session and just do some catch up, uh, which is good because I actually have something that's in development that. What? You want some ketchup? Yeah. Okay. No, Chris is being ridiculous <laughs> with the lion again. I was okay. thinking when you did it to the lion, you should come down the top. Anyway. <laughs> I love prop comedy. You just true. Can you, can you show, show him again? Show him again. Oh my god. And again. <laughs> Bear gun continues to be my favorite thing. <laughs> what what other channels have a bear gun? Um, Wouldn't be uh, so so bad when that thing runs out of batteries. I'll just replace the batteries. Oh, oh I, we can it is a screw. It is a screw. Oh, I well, get it. Good. Oh, it okay. last last question before we go. What chapter are we in? Oh, uh, so we are in. Oh, 
Uh, we are just about to go to Cragmaw Castle. We were supposed to do that tonight, but a bunch of us are sick and delirious. So we decided just to come on and have a just chat. Um, so we are basically next episode is going to consist of the characters going back to Phandalin, um, arming, and then going straight to, to Cragmaw Keep Castle. So this is chapter three. Um, just about to hop into chapter four after Craig this Maul episode. People. No. People. When you paused after Craig Mall, I was like, don't do the thing. I did. I said, <laughs> I said, keep, I said, I said keep Castle. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I see. I see. Yes. All right. And uh, so, yeah, come come back. We'll be back on Monday night next week. Uh, so, folks, we'll be back next week with uh, episode 10, Cragmaw Castle, uh, after this this impromptu uh, intermission. Be sure to join us on Saturday night for an episode of uh, Mage the Awaken. God damn it, Chris, you spoiled me. Um, uh, for Victorian Age Mage the Ascension uh, as it returns um, with uh, book three. And uh, then Sunday is... Planescape. Sorry, I had to yawn. Uh, Planescape, and then we're going and oh, and hey, uh, join us on Thursday. I forgot Thursday. We're back on Thursday this week uh, yeah. for our, our our game of Changeling the Lost, uh, which is ran by our good friend Simon K. Uh, it's our our first episode, so come and join us seven o'clock Pacific on this Thursday. And I'm not. I'm just a player, so I can be sleepy and cranky. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. You know what else is great? You're great. Have a great night, everybody. Bye. <laughs>